Not all of them are at this ceremony. You can breathe. We will award 668 degrees to eligible doctoral, master, and baccalaureate candidates participating in this ceremony. We gather together today as a community to honor and celebrate the accomplishments of all of our graduates. Our students have been instructed to return to their seats for the duration of the ceremony after receiving their diploma. Please do not approach your graduate. We ask that you stay throughout this special ceremony to celebrate every graduate's moment. It has taken tremendous effort and sacrifice for each student to reach this important milestone. This is a formal ceremony. Please follow our guidelines so we can ensure that everyone has a great experience. Please ensure that children remain in their seats for their safety and are not disruptive to the ceremonies. Contact an usher if you need assistance. Finally, at the end of the ceremony for everyone's safety, our ushers will guide you in leaving the field in an orderly manner. The graduates will process throughout the field prior to the audience leaving. Please follow the instructions for the recessional. Please join our College of Business and Public Management faculty for a meet and greet immediately following the ceremony in Sneaky Park. Our candidates have taken their degree work from the Laverne campus and from our regional and online campuses. <clears throat> Leading the processional of faculty and staff and honored to carry the university mace in today's ceremony will be Dr. Keok Park, Associate Dean of the College of Business and Public Management. The university mace, designed with the university seal, symbolizes the authority vested in the president by our governing body, the Board of Trustees. Following the mace will be members of the Alumni Advisory Board, followed by instructors, adjunct faculty, administrators, and professional staff. The procession will continue with assistant and associate professors, followed by full tenured professors, senior managers, trustees, and the president entering last. Faculty and administrators are either wearing custom regalia or traditional black regalia representing the colors of their alma mater. The hoods carry the colors of their field of study and the school colors of many of the nation's greatest universities, as well as several international institutions. The faculty and staff with the highest academic achievement are recognizable by their robes with three horizontal stripes on their sleeves, which designates a doctoral degree. The processional continues with platform participants that includes faculty and trustee representatives, honored guests, and chief academic and administrative officers. Last to enter the venue will be Vice Provost Clarkson and Dr. Devorah Lieberman, our president. Please join together in welcoming our distinguished stage participants, faculty, and administrative staff. The procession will now begin. <laughs>
In a moment, the procession of candidates will proceed into the commencement field to the familiar notes of pomp and circumstance. Leading our candidates today are faculty and administrative marshals chosen by the college for this special honor. The first group of candidates entering today will receive their doctoral degrees and be hooded on stage. Immediately following our master degree candidates, the degrees of these candidates can be identified by the color on their hoods. Next will be baccalaureate candidates earning institutional honors with the last group of candidates to enter earning a Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science right degree. All bachelor students can be recognized by their white trimmed hoods. Please remain seated throughout the formal procession of the candidates. We honor and celebrate the achievements of all of our graduates today. We want to acknowledge that we gather as the University of Laverne on the traditional land of the Tongva peoples, past and present, and honor with gratitude the land itself and the people who have stewarded it throughout the generations. Now, joining over 87,000 alumni, proudly we present our doctoral, master, and baccalaureate candidates from the College of Business and Public Management at the University of Laverne's Class of 2022 Commencement Ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, we present the graduating class of 2000, 2022 from the College of Business and Public Management. Our ceremony will now proceed with the national anthem. Will you please all rise as you are able, remove your caps, and face the flag on the stage for the national anthem. Performing the national anthem is Taylor Murphy, a member of the university's chamber singers. Please remain standing. I invite Reverend Dr. Zandra Wagoner, University Chaplain, to the podium for the invocation. Please join me in this moment of blessing for today. We come this evening because a celebration is rising within us, a sound of persistence, a song of accomplishment, an energy of achievement. We come this afternoon because the joy of this day is overflowing and calls us to honor and to celebrate. And so I invite you to take a moment to be connected with whatever gives you a thankful and joyful heart whether that is beauty, or God, or the enlightened one, or family, or ancestors, or Allah, or the universe we share. Humanity is blessed with a deep well of inspiration. And so let's bring our sacred perspectives and our deeply rooted values that guide and sustain us, and may they bless us in this moment. In the presence of all of this goodness, we come thankful for our graduates and for their journey, which required working hard, living through struggle, finding one's rhythm, and growing more fully into one's own. We come this afternoon because a celebration is rising within us, a song of accomplishment, a sound of persistence, an energy of achievement. May our celebration be deeply blessed by this joy. Amen, and please be seated.
We welcome Board of Trustees member Zoila Escobar, an alumna of Laverne, for a special message on behalf of the University's Board of Trustees and the faculty and the staff of the University of Laverne. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, graduates. Welcome to the University of Laverne 2022 commencement ceremony. As a trustee and a, a third time alumni of this great university, it is my honor to be here to celebrate the hardworking candidates from the College of Business and Public Management. On behalf of the trustees, the faculty, the administration, the staff, please join us in a round of applause for the soon-to-be graduates. Thank you. <laughs> this is a proud date for them, but their success is not theirs alone. For those of you in the audience, you care, sacrifice, and support it, and carry them to the place in their lives that they're in today. So therefore, you join, you join them in their joy. Every candidate here has made a lasting contribution to the University of Laverne's diverse educational community. Whether in Central Campus, the regional campuses, or any of the online programs, your discourse, scholarship, and friendship supported a robust and brilliant learning environment. Now, as a graduate, you become a global citizen prepared to contribute to the betterment of this world. As you do so, I encourage you to hold tight to the values that drew you to the university in the first place. Ethical reasoning, diversity and inclusivity, long life learning, and civic and community engagement. They will guide you on your way. And whether you your next steps are around the world or around the block. One point of the campus will never change. From today forward, you will forever be the alumni of this great university, a Leo for life. Congratulations to all of you for what you've accomplished. Congratulations on this, your commencement day from the University of Laverne. Now I am delighted to introduce to you Deborah Lieberman, the 18th president and only woman president of the University of Laverne. President Lieberman, a nationally known leader and educator, will preside over today's ceremony. I may be the first female president in 130 years, but I can guarantee you, I won't be the last. Thank you so much, Zoila Escobar. That was a beautiful introduction. And uh, we have many, many students that are going to graduate today. And I want to start by saying, to the graduates, to the families, to the friends, to the neighbors. This today is all about every single one of you. So let's start by having fun and celebration. Let's hear it for why we're here today. <laughs> However, I do have to give you a few remarks before it's on to you. First, I would like to recognize Zoila Escobar, who today received her doctoral degree from the University of Laverne, today. And tonight, her daughter and Costello's daughter, Yindra, will be receiving her master's degree from the University of Laverne. Congratulations, Yendra. And I would like to introduce to you uh, on the stage tonight the other trustees who are with us 
And when I say that tr everybody says, what does a trustee do? Well, I can tell you the trustees at the University of Laverne dedicate incredible time, incredible, phenomenal talent and treasures. Many of their treasures translate into your scholarships. So let me introduce you to the trustees who are here tonight. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. So let me start with Mary Ann Quay Davis. Mary Ann, thank you very much. 26 years as a trustee. Thank you. And if you've seen the Quay Davis Executive Boardroom right by the spot, the dining hall, she owns that room. Thank you. And uh, Tony Revere, the chair of our Board of Trustees, graduate from the University of Laverne. Sue Searing, secretary to the Board of Trustees, graduate from the University of Laverne, 12 years on the board. Uh, Martha Daniel, thank you, graduate from the University of Laverne. Amazing Martha Daniel. Frank Lizarraga, Frank, graduate from the University of Laverne, renowned attorney. Thank you, Frank. Did I get all the trustees? I didn't miss anybody because I report to the trustees and I would never want to think I overlooked any of them. We're good. I want to introduce you to a few more people, everybody's special, but a few dignitaries who are here with us tonight. I want to make sure that we recognize um, the distances that they traveled and why they're here. So I'd like you to meet a very good friend Shamsa al Swadi, who is married to His Excellency Nasser al Swadi from the United Arab Emirates, who just flew in for her daughter's graduation tonight, Shamsa. Shema, thank you so much. Uh, you're probably jet lagged, so just hang on till the end and then you can go back to your hotel. Thank you so much, Shema, for being here. I'd like to also introduce you to Awadal, I, I, I don't want to mispronounce, Awadal Hababi, not Habibi, for those of you who speak Arabic, but Hababi, who is the Deputy Consul General from Qatar, and Fahad al Salati, who's the diplomat from Qatar, who are here tonight to recognize the Qatari graduates from the University of Laverne. Thank you very much for being here. So today, graduates, it's really all about you and the hard work that you've put in these last years to be sitting here to commence to uh, the next chapter of your life. Each year, and I've talked to many of you when I'm walking around campus, each year uh, when I see students either at orientation or on campus and we're starting to have a conversation, I never ask a student, what's your major? I always ask a student, what is your mission? Let that mission guide be your compass north. Let the major give you the skills so that you can achieve that mission. Because legacy, what do you want to achieve in life? What's your purpose? What do you want to leave behind? That mission is what makes all the difference. And here at the University of Laverne, I truly believe that the faculty and staff, they support the students to achieve their mission and then to commence with their life to truly, truly make a difference and have an impact on other people's lives. For many of us, these last two years, and those we can't ignore, we're not quite through COVID, but these last two years have spotlighted, in my opinion, what we find important in our own lives, how we choose to interact with people around us, and how do we choose to be kind? Do we choose to be mean-spirited? I hope we choose to be kind and generous. This, these last two years challenged us to embrace the technology in this ever-changing new virtual world. And for many, many of us had to make the difficult decision 
to stay home in order to protect the health and the safety of our loved ones. What do I encourage you to do now that you've, we've all lived, are living through this pandemic? I encourage you to incorporate what you learned during the pandemic, incorporate it into your daily life moving forward because it was during those times that we said, what are our priorities? And usually it was our family. I also want you, because you're here, you lived through something that nobody in history has ever lived through. Embrace your resiliency because you were resilient through all of it. And embrace the strength that you showed and found inside you during these times of ambiguity. And do this as you move forward with grace, with respect for others, with compassion, and with generosity. I can tell you that everybody in this audience and on this stage, we are relying on you to lead us forward and to be the best examples. Be your best selves when you leave here so that we can follow you. Graduates, as you leave here tonight, know that you will continue to be our greatest treasures. The university, I, I always have to wait for the train to stop and go by. Oh. That's a long horn. The university will forever, I promise you, be an extension of your home. You have honed the skills, the knowledge, the values, and what I call the Laverne Advantage. You have the Laverne Advantage to further pursue your purpose and your place in life. Graduates, this is your time. Make every single moment count. Think big, accomplish much, and always remember to give back to those behind you and those who have helped you. Keep the light of your intellectual curiosity burning brightly. I have confidence, absolute confidence, that each of you has a limitless capacity for positive contributions to the world and countless prospects to lead a productive and, feeling and fulfilling life. As I've said to you graduates, and I will continue to say, be your best self. Bring that forward, let that light shine. And graduates, tonight, I am so proud to call you esteemed alumni of this fine, fantastic, remarkable university, the University of Laverne. What are you tonight? You are Leos for life, congratulations. And now I'd like to invite Dr. Emmeline DePillis, our, one of our newer deans to the university, an amazing dean. We're so honored that she's at the University of Laverne. She's the dean of the College of Business and Public Management. She is your dean, and she's going to introduce our commencement speaker, Dean DePillis. Thank you so much, Dr. Lieberman. I was walking slow so that she would keep saying nice things about me. Okay. Um, it is now my distinct honor to introduce the College of Business and Public Management commencement speaker, Randall Lewis. Randall has more than 40 years of experience in the real estate industry and serves as executive vice president of Lewis Management Corporation, a member of the Lewis Group of Companies, one of the largest industrial plan community developers in Southern California. He is also a governor for the Urban Land Institute Foundation and is the co-chair for the San Bernardino County Alliance for Education. In 2014, Randall won the Southern California Association of Governors President's Award for Sustainability Leader of the Year and the Urban Land Institute's Bob Santos Industry Leadership Award in Sustainable Community Development. Randall and his wife, Janelle, sponsor the Randall Lewis Health Policy Fellowship, and he is heavily involved in the Healthy Cities movement in the Inland Empire. 
He's an active and philanthropic supporter of health, education, and the arts, and is a passionate University of Laverne advocate and donor behind centers such as the Randall Lewis Center for Entrepreneurship, Innovation, and Social Impact, and the Randall Lewis Center for Wellbeing and Research. Please join me in welcoming Randall Lewis. Thank you, Dean. Thank you for your great comments, and thank you, President Lieberman. It is really an honor and a privilege for me to be here today. It's thrilling for me to see all of you recognizing your great achievements and celebrating the important step on your journey towards fulfilling your life's mission and purpose. I have to confess, I feel a little guilty being up here today Last week, New York University had Taylor Swift, and she's a lot cuter and a better <laughs> singer than I am. So I'd like to urge Dr. Lieberman next year, try to think of Lady Gaga or somebody else. <laughs> Your accomplishments that you all collectively have done are remarkable. You've successfully navigated your academic programs, and it, you've done it during this incredibly difficult time as we all dealt with the challenges of COVID. Academic programs like Laverne are always difficult. They're always challenging. But for you to do it during this period is something remarkable. So I salute and congratulate all of you. President Franklin Roosevelt once said, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. All of you have weathered the storm and you are skilled sailors now. Your accomplishments and resiliency should give you confidence and courage that you will enjoy great success in the future. I feel really fortunate to be with you tonight. And Dr. Lieberman talked about this. It's heartwarming to see all of you, your energy and the passion that you have, because it gives us hope because you are gonna be the future leaders. You are gonna be the ones accomplishing so much and making our region, our state, our country, and our world better places to live. It's also exciting for me to be here to see the faculty. I've gotten to know a lot of your faculty personally, and they're wonderful people. And I know the entire faculty is really respected for their scholarship and their practice. But most important for me with your faculty is they are here because they are teachers, and they're here to give their best to make sure you enjoy success. So congratulations to all the faculty that are here. My parents immigrated to California 100 years ago. And 65 years ago, they made their way to the Inland Empire without much money, but with a lot of hopes and dreams of creating a better life for their family. Together, they started a real estate company when this area was just a bunch of orange groves, dairies, and farms. They built the real estate company that I and my family, my brothers, are all a part of now. Their values shaped me very much, and I'm gonna share their values with you. The first was integrity. Do everything you can with the higher standards of moral living and integrity. Professionalism. My parents were accountants, and so they drilled into all of us, cross the T's, dot the I's, get every detail right. It, it, you really need to sweat the small stuff. Energy, be relentless, keep going in the face of adversity. We all need energy during times like this. Vision, try to take the time to look around the corners. What's out there beyond the radar? It will help you see the future and try to do the things we all need to do together. And then finally, as Dr. Lieberman said, giving back to the community. It's so important for all of you to give back to your community. We've been really fortunate as a family, and as a result, I'm trying to follow my parents' tradition of giving back. And luckily, my wife Janelle and my three children are helping me give back to a lot of causes, especially education, health, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And among the very best initiatives we have ever supported are the ones at the University of Laverne. 
as you enjoy your future success i hope you will have it in your heart to keep giving back but have a special place in your heart for your alma mater that has done so much for you giving back is deeply satisfying in so many ways and i think if you can give back to your alma mater you'll find that your efforts really are magnified here. You get tremendous impact being involved at the University of Laverne. Our family were large home builders for 45 years, and we built almost 60,000 houses. But the times changed, and our skill set changed, and we made a big pivot about 20 years ago. So we don't build homes anymore. We do shopping centers and apartments, what are called master plan communities. We do industrial development. We made a major pivot because things were changing, our skill sets changed, and we thought it's the right thing to do. And I urge you as you think of your careers, don't be afraid to make pivots down the road. Don't be afraid to go on a path, and if things change, do something different. One thing we know for sure is that you're gonna enjoy a lot of successes, but you're also gonna enjoy failures. Do not worry if you have failures. It is okay to fail in life. What's important is what you learn from it and that you get up and you keep going on to the very next initiative. And as you go forward, I think you will be able to use the skills that you have learned in your classrooms here to deal with the twists and turns that you'll hit in the decades ahead and the skills you learn will really help you with all the challenges and opportunity ahead. But more than the skills and the things you learned in the classroom, remember the values of this great university. They are gonna help you the most to lead an ethical life, to lead a moral life, to do the right thing, and to give you the courage and confidence to lead wonderful lives. So I hope all of you can lead your lives with courage and confidence and optimism. And as President Lieberman said, don't let others define your story. This is your narrative, it's your mission, it's your purpose, and live the pathway that you wanna live. You know it better than anyone else. Chart your own path and be bold with it. Many of you are gonna get a chance to see other parts of California, other parts of the country, other parts of the world. And it will be great if you get to travel, but many of you will choose to go somewhere else. But please have a special place in your heart for this area. President Lieberman talks about the brain drain and the drain, brains remain. And I think it's really important. There is so much need here. There's so much opportunity here. There are so many jobs here. Please give this area thought as you're trying to think about your community and what you're gonna do in the future. We need you here, and we will welcome you with open arms. In conclusion, I am really honored to be here tonight with you and with your families who have done so much to help you through this journey. They've done so much to support you. And in echoing Dr. Lieberman one last time, we all can consider ourselves Leos for life, and I am proud to be amongst you as a Leo for life. Good luck in your future, and God bless you and your families. Thank you. How inspirational was that speech? How inspirational was that presentation? When Randall speaks, everybody listens and learns. He's one of the wisest people I've ever known. And first, I'd like to ask Riley and Janelle to stand up, his family, so we can recognize them as well. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you, Riley. And now, uh, in honor of all that you've done throughout your, <clears throat> throughout your life, we'd like to um, give you your honorary degree and I'd like to ask the Dean and the Vice Provost to hood you while I read your honorary degree. Okay, so I just need that honorary degree. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the Board of Trustees, upon the recommendation of its faculty, confer upon Randall W. Lewis the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters 
with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining, given here at Laverne, California, this 28th day of May, 2022, University of Laverne, Dr. Randall Lewis. Congratulations. <laughs> Good evening once again. My name is Brian Cloxon, the Vice Provost for the University of Laverne. President Lieberman, it is my ple pleasure and privilege as Vice Provost to present to you the candidates here assembled who have qualified in all respects for their respective degree programs at the University of Laverne. They have been recommended by the faculty and confirmed by the Board of Trustees to be awarded appropriate degrees in recognition of their academic accomplishments. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Vice Provost Clarkson. With recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me as president by the Board of Trustees and the State of California, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree for which you have qualified with all the rights, the privileges, and the responsibilities pertaining thereto. We welcome you to the company of educated persons who are alumni of this remarkable university, the University of Laverne. And now I'd like to welcome Dr. Matthew Witt, Professor of Public Administration. Aren't you also now the um, chair of the department? No, okay, <laughs> never mind. I thought you were, no, you're the chair of uh, the doctoral program. No, okay. <laughs> but he is a professor of public administration. <laughs> and he will introduce our doctoral student speaker and he'll tell you his exact title. Good afternoon, graduates. Well, it is my distinctive pleasure uh, and honor to introduce uh, this evening uh, our, uh, commencement our graduate commencement speaker. Stephen Famba was born and raised in Sierra Leone. He migrated to the United States in search of quality education and better opportunities. And here we are. He has served in leadership roles in several community organizations that seek to address political and socioeconomic injustices in Sierra Leone and the communities where he has lived. His lifelong goal is to be part of a solution that will transform the lives of his kinsmen in Sierra Leone and their communities. That goal is the reason he joined an international nonprofit organization during the Ebola epidemic in West Africa and return to Sierra Leone to develop and implement life-saving and sustainable development programs to alleviate their suffering. I could go on with a script, but I'm gonna cut it short. Please join me in welcoming Stephen Fumba. Thank you very much, um, Professor Witt. 
I extend my sincere greetings to the officers and uh, members of the Board of Trustees, President Liberman, the faculty, fa uh, families, staff, and distinguished guests. And congratulations, class of 2022. Today, I am very humbled and honored to stand before this August gathering to share my story and submit to you an important message that I title, Our Actions Make the Difference. Yes, they do. I promise to be as brief on this stage as I am tall. <laughs> I am from Konjo Village, Sierra Leone. While growing up there, I enjoyed cultivating our farm, keeping birds from snacking on our rice, playing different traditional games under the moonlight, surrounded by pitch dark bushes. Walking six miles to and from school on an empty stomach under the hot sun on dusty roads was challenging, but I endured every step because of friends and the reward of education. One day when I arrived in Koindu for school, I noticed panic and confusion. An old woman told me to return home because war was upon us. I hurried back west and shared the bad news. After Hours after my return to Konjo, we saw an exodus of people walking towards the Makona River to Guinea. When my father heard that the rebels were looking for government and law enforcement officials to kill, we quickly joined the people and uh, the exodus of internal displaced persons to become refugees. You see, my father was in the Sierra Leone police and resigned due to sectarianism. As we took that long walk to freedom in the dark night through the jungle forest to wait on the fishermen to cross us to Guinea, I struggled to understand how I woke up that morning in our cozy mud house and ended up in the bush fleeing fro from death. I was very afraid. The effects of that civil war traumatized the nation, displaced two million people, and destroyed cities and towns and killed about 70,000 people. The scars of the war are still visible with the presence of war amputees, destroyed communities, and former child soldiers. Sierra Leone is also known for deaths, to, for thousands of deaths to Ebola and yearly from preventable diseases like malaria due to the porosity of the healthcare sector. Despite its natural wealth, Sierra Leone ranks 182 out of the 189 on the Human Development Index. About 57% live on less than $1.25 United States dollars per day, and 70% of youths are either unemployed or underemployed. As I look back at, the at those terrible experiences, I realize that the primary root cause of the problems was poor public service management and the failure of public administrators to act to correct organizational wrongs and influence public policies that either infringe on or fail to protect the rights of people. You see, when public sector workers misuse their discretionary authority to favor one group over the other, they choose to promote social discriminations. When they mismanage public resources, they choose to foster corruption that denies people access to services, which can lead to serious life-threatening consequences, including death by poverty, diseases, and crime. When they fail to influence the policy-making process, they allow wicked politicians to create laws, laws that marginalize citizens who do not think or look like them, widening the inequality and inequity gaps. Such injustices demoralize our human spirit and cause disgruntlement that can lead to people reacting vehemently against law enforcement, each other, privileged groups, public institutions, and even start wars. So like you, I came to the University of Laverne to become an effective and efficient public administrator. As all of us here today have received the best possible education at different levers, levels, I implore you to put it to good use. Let us be a generation of public sector leaders 
and managers who avoid regulatory capture and choose to do the right thing at all times for all people regardless of their race, gender, status, or ethnicity. Let us make the pledge today, not tomorrow, today, to ourselves and this noble institution to be part of the solutions that seek to transform the lives of those we serve for prosperity, freedom, and the pursuit of true happiness. Thank you and congratulations again to all of us. Thank you. His family is here, is not here, but watching online. Congratulations to the entire family. You have raised a phenomenal family member. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephen. It gives me great pride now to present this group of students receiving the degree of Doctor of Public Administration. I now invite these doctoral graduates to the platform to be recognized. Dr. Stephen Fomba. Dr. Pise Kaur. Dr. Yuen Li Catherine Chung. Dr. Charles Kenneth Nelson. And our final doctoral candidate, Dr. Donna Marie White. It is now with great pride that I present this group of students receiving the degree of Master of Business Administration, Master of Health Administration, Master of Public Administration, Master of Science in Accounting, Master of Science in Data Analytics, and Master of Science in Finance. I invite these master graduates to the platform to be recognized.
Angelica Zindelar. Kayla Renee Haley. John Anthony Gutierrez. Yi Ji Shen. Tom Kim. Chi Jang. Asad Muslim Muscati. Jinlan Miao. Raquel Marie Carmichael. Yu Gao. Roderick Earl Fitz. Owen Wibisono Onkowi Yoyo. Shanaporn Sintaluk Plurt Chayako. Krista Renee Hemming. Caesar A. Zarate. Jeanette Naomi Cruz. Brian Prescott Hilpert. Matea Galeana. Haran Jang. Natalie Janelle Carpenter. Zhao Jin. Redima Agarwal. Shu Yi Ding. Tong Annie Bui. Shu Dong Kao. Doug Jones. Rong Yu Ju. Leon Re. Zhang Yuan Shui. Raven Lorenzo Cablao Ruiz. Michael Morajo. Carly Pauline Fink. Marilyn Zarco. Oscar Villalobos. Stephanie Adela Pedrosa. Scott Gregory Robles. Pristine Vanessa Delgadillo. Philip Rockwell. Mo Zhao. Larissa Georgine Mallet. Ka Young Kim. Jeffrey Paul Meeks. Dong Dong Chen. Joshua Daniel Steele. Natasha Annette Villegas. Rafael G. Ramirez. Man Quinn. Oscar Romero. Eric Huang. Amanda Michelle Padilla. Indra Renata Garcia. Tejas Vita. Christelle Haswani. Margarita Alejandra Lamas. Mohammed Zain Ikram. Samantha Michelle Cash Campbell. Mohammed Salah Hamad. Shamsa Nasir Al Suwadi. Chris Lee. Abdul Rahman Mohab Al Sheeb. Yushang Zhou. Roland James Terrazas. Yunru Chen. Gerardo Francisco Oliveras. Yang Si. Jesus Garcia Perez. Omar Abdallah Ibhardalo. Nye Libanau. Peng Yu Tao. Daniel Guaso. Jackie Wang. Marco Antonio Aguilar Jr. Sharon Ann Hernandez. Michaela Marie Saucedo. Angel Baby Gilbert Diaz. Yin Jia. Andrew Joseph Rodriguez. Shi Lu. Ashanti Monique Jones. Manuel Junior Aceves. Maria Rodriguez. 
Ryan Daniel Dombrowski. Kristen Marroquin. Katrina Ariana Rodriguez. Nicole Valencia. Raquel Leticia Beltran. Steve Christopher Tavera. Alana Kiefer Jones. Edward Garavi. Vanessa Elise Lopez. Carlos Antonio Tevez. Gianni Cheyenne Howell. Andres Noel Ornelas. Sandra Orozco. Yilun Lin. Karina Castaneda. Chandakantan Balakrishnan. Ashley Nicole Mayorga. Ashwak Jawad Al Sarshani. Stephen Alexander Belcher. Fatma Jawad Al Sarshani. Joanna Esperanza Roses Aguirre. Suhaila Jacob Calada. Yerima Marina Fuentes. Aziz Oluwashishan Ogande. Mayra Nunez Frando. Bryce. Bryce Vidal Ramirez. Stephanie Marie Deanda. Lisbeth Mondragon. Vanessa Amanda Williams. Andrea Magana Garcia. Sonia Arellano. Mendel Reyes. Jessica Cobian. Daniel Matthew Garcia. Armando Pascual Huizar. Nicholas Brett Greer. Nancy Bautista. Kayla Lauren Williams. Kevin Marshall. Marissa Ann Sotomayor. Jacob Yu. Mishani Quinette Carter. Jean Gran Yu. Cecilia Danielle Jimenez. Su Chen Zong. Samantha Mary Dotson. Megha Natalie Batia. Miao Sun. Laura Estrada. Jinji Zhang. Eliana Estrada. Jessica Nicole Nusi. Sarah Santana. Joel Espinosa. Mandeep Gore Bender. Monica Carrion Macias. Ramandeep Kaur. Jose Luis Carrion. Karen Bering. Andres Angel Valdez. Pristine Crystal Espinosa. Jung Wan Lee. Cristal Enriquez. Heather Lynn Parsons. Arturo Javier Moreno. Brian Alejandro Loyola. Mario Dwayne Lamont Johnson. Eloise Gisela Longstreet. Jose Guadalupe Mares. Carlos Roberto Andrade. Nicole Chinayenye Oyanje. Zenia Vanessa Chamorro. Nancy Cristal Barragan. Susanna Lee Sterling. Jessica Chavez. Michelle Annalie Quinones. Walter Christopher Robles. Jasval Singh Sohal. Tan Hoon. Marina Adriana Andalon. Ruben A. Lopez. Jacqueline Alexandria Ponce. Pedro Eduardo Gutierrez. Shakisha Latiqua Williams. Christina Nakao. 
Lida Asgarzade. Carlos E. Gonzalez. Jennifer Dawn Neal. Tanya Alverson Wise. Everardo Nieves. Richard Vargas. Lady Jasmine Sampson. Nesrin Ganam. Vivian Cow. Rose Marie Arismendi. Krishan Latrice Thomas. Morel Williams. Brian Joel Bowen. Michael David Reyes. Bessie Russell Lim John. Rebecca M. Ortiz. Jason Philip Fimbres. Caitlin Lee Pine. Celia Valverde. Kalina Maria Thorpe. Jacqueline Morales. Jasmine Kelly Peck. Mariana Hernandez. Christian Herrera. Chinan Shu. Jamie Rochelle Jackson. Nancy Maria Velasquez. Tamika Renee Smith. Janira Collado. Anne Wynn. Stephanie Ann Chona. Catherine Marie Lopez. Roxana Ramirez Racinos. Tanya Lee Barbosa Sanchez. Jessica A. Hay. Jemima Barrera. Oscar Barba. Jocelyn Esther Torres. Courtney Charles Cook, Jr. Frank Daniel Spencer. Paul Edwin DeLemos. Annette Olivia Moore. Jonathan Dean Wetzel. Dharma Juan Prasetio Joe. Sandra Lynn Kinner Bautista. Jesus Gabriel Ortega. Quan Ann Tran. Sivi Monique Banks Carson. Anastasia Chemeritskaya. Daisy Granados. Simona Ondrekova. Rami Kasar. Sarah Joy Tikach. Dimitric Brown. Crystal Lee Aleman. Leticia Cordova. Ukunoma Tony Ize Ijamu. Blanca Rosas Macias. Ebony Renee Jane Turner. Francisco Heredia. Aaron Christopher Fong. Brendan Thomas Bergen. Ralph Neon Melendez. Sean William Holt. Daniel Aaron Cable Valdez. Devon Garrett Burns. James Lee Russell III. Ethan Michael Fulcher. Yu Ma. Cody David Norman. Heinying Lee. Paula Christophe Caldani. Shipang Shang. Eva Samora. Desiree M. Vetter. Si Yuan Ji. Aneri Joshi. Elena Cruz Guzman. Tyro Danilo Zazul Garcia. David Liu. Daniel James Newell. 
Sandy Lamb. Johanna Munoz Martinez. Mary A. Schroeder. Veronica Ann Munoz. Bianca L. McMillan Houston. Xiao Li. Raza Shahid Wasir. Shannon Law. Joel Mendieta. Jeremy Luis Altschul. Zhao Zhao Guan. Dan Dan Long. Wei On He. Zihao Zhang. Meng Yanzo. Daphne Jimenez. Shen Yang. Hao Wei Wu. Nadia Ziglari. Alicia Denise Athens Alba. Michelle Marie Garica Simpson. Ruda El Hajal. Monica Elaine Tucker. Carlos Joel Soto Lorenzo. Alma R. Villasenor. Adam Christopher Roman. Carmen Maria Ramirez. Tyler Thomas Chambers. Kong Tian. Justin L. Figueroa. Kyle William Wade. Rodney Duan Chu. Navshina S. Sheik. Arsenia Ochoa Vega. Deontay Martel Brown. Ernesto Corona. Alicia Marie Baker. Corey Michael Friend. Pei Ling Juan. Brian Lopez. James Patrick McManus. Patricia Esguerra Diaz. Dijen Nilesh Patel.
David Alonzo Gonzalez, Jr. Genevieve Alisa Garibay. Angelica Santillan. Carlos Alberto Gomez. Lauren Kiyomi Yoshiyama. Charles Morrison. Adam Michael Mejia. Jonathan Samuel Canton. Joey Cool. Zong Ki Wen. Tanya Murillo. Daisy Jocelyn Esteban. Juan Lu. Colin Allen Cheer. Rachel Ann Eureka Uline. Christian Alexander Hernandez Zapata. Kimberlyn Romero. Joanna Milne. Caleb Potts. Tristan Thomas Thompson. Samantha Ann Lane. Brandon Anthony Jamora. Leroy Cloud the third. Valerie Carmen Morones. And our final Masters candidate, Marcella Carolina Francesca. Good evening, everyone. My name is Deanna Williams, academic advisor for the Santa Clarita Regional Campus. This next student is a high achiever who is dedicated, motivated, and hardworking. It was a pleasure to have been his academic advisor throughout his educational journey. I am extremely proud of him. It is an honor to introduce Steve Artis. Thank you, Deanna. There is no finish line. When you reach one goal, find a new one. Aloha and good evening, friends, family, faculty, staff, and fellow graduates. It is an honor to speak to you tonight. Let me start by saying congratulations to the class of 2022. Today is a day to celebrate all of the hard work and effort that it took to get to this very moment. It is a day to look back on all of the reading, writing, studying, group projects, and to say, yeah, I, I did that. It's a day to give a big hug and a thank you to all of your friends and family that helped us get to this moment because we could not have done it alone. It is a day to say, I completed my goal. I made it to the end. 
I finished. However, there is no finish line. When you reach one goal, find a new one. This is a quote from the famous philosopher, martial artist, and actor, Chuck Norris. Now, normally we associate Chuck Norris with kung fu movies or funny memes or t-shirts, but I think this quote is pretty spot on. Obtaining our degree is just one step in a series of many steps that we will take throughout our lives. We've heard the quote, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. But what happens when we get to the end of that journey? We start another one. This has likely been a longer journey for myself than for most of you. I began working full-time in the restaurant industry right after high school and spent 18 years in that field. Working as a restaurant manager in that, in that type of business is very demanding. It requires long hours, weekends, nights, and just about every holiday. I recognized that I needed to make a career change when my wife became pregnant with my son, Dylan. I realized that I would not be able to spend enough quality time with him if I stayed in that field. So I completely changed my career and entered the banking industry. I asked my boss, you know, how can I get quickly to manager? And he gave me several pointers, but one of the main things he said was, get your degree. His exact words were, get your butt in school. I enrolled at College of the Canyons in Santa Clarita, and I took one class at a time to balance my, upper, my responsibilities with work, church, and family. That was 13 years ago. It was a very long road, but I made it to the end, just like all of you. My mom inspired me when she finished her degree at age 65. She was born and raised on Maui and attended BYU, Hawaii in 1956. She met my dad while he was stationed there in the Navy. They fell in love, she left school, and she moved to his hometown of Upland. Many years later, my mom returned to Hawaii after he passed away. She re-enrolled in BYU and completed her degree in 2002. I just turned 50 last November, and I used her example to stick with the program and finish what I started. Amen. Class of 2022, I wish you all success and, and happiness in your future endeavors. Celebrate your accomplishment today, but tomorrow, create a new journey. What is the next challenge? What is your next goal? When you reach that goal, find a new one, because there is no finish line. Thank you. The following candidates are representative of the highest academic achievers within the undergraduate student body. Candidates eligible for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science receiving university honors of cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude, please rise and come to the platform to be recognized. Let's share this proud moment as we present their honor cords and diplomas on stage.
Anita Christine Newland, magna cum laude. Kim Elaine Rodriguez, cum laude. Brittany Melanie Orozco, magna cum laude. Robbie Sibitani, cum laude. Paniota Costantiana Piratos, magna cum laude. Brett Anthony Jones, cum laude. Serena Alana Cardona, cum laude. Lucen Carapetian, summa cum laude. Samantha Ann Rose Lucero, summa cum laude. Ming Yi Shu, cum laude. Lizzie Navarro, magna cum laude. Murphy Lee, summa cum laude. Ramon Encinas Alcantara, cum laude. Dominic Germain Allman, cum laude. Steven Sergio Ibarra, magna cum laude. Vanessa Andrea Lopez, cum laude. Lisette Patricia Montenegro Martinez, cum laude. Annabelle Lee, magna cum laude. Natalie Quidor, summa cum laude. Ryan Ramon Valdez, magna cum laude. Michelle Anna Kishishian, cum laude. Michelle Ann Reese, cum laude. Mark Andrew Ruiz, magna cum laude. Nicole Marie Lawson, magna cum laude. Christian Alexander Gonzalez, summa cum laude. Arturo Delgado Jr., magna cum laude. Jason Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Marisol Ramirez, magna cum laude. Madison Therese McWhorter, magna cum laude. Ivan Godinez, cum laude. Morgan Demoy Jones, summa cum laude. Luis Calderon, magna cum laude. Barbara Rose Clinch Jones, cum laude. Ebony Michelle Swansea, cum laude. Angela Van Hayes, cum laude. Corey Reynard Hooper, summa cum laude. Darlene Marie Contreras, magna cum laude. Claudia A. Rodriguez Smith, cum laude. Elizabeth Chipres, cum laude. Danica Barbara Lau Blanque. Christopher cum laude. Artiaga, magna cum laude. Alfredo Rubio. Jose Alfredo Rubio, magna cum laude. Emerson A. Hernandez, cum laude. Michael Philip Ball, magna cum laude. Hilda Viernes, magna cum laude. Myra J. Hernandez, magna cum laude. George Lopez, cum laude. Tracy L. McCullough, summa cum laude. Julie A. Morales, magna cum laude. Christine Deanne Marshall, cum laude. Sandra Meza, cum laude. Tiara Faye Copeland, cum laude. Lisa Marie Torres, cum laude. Kimberly Vetzani Hernandez, summa cum laude.
Annabelle Lydia Fernandez, cum laude. Tanner James Siffert, summa cum laude. Drew Philip Reddick, summa cum laude. Peter Eric Thorson, magna cum laude. Brandon Mitsugu Shiota, summa cum laude. And our final honors candidate, Catherine Marie Mettert, summa cum laude. All bachelor's right candidates, please rise. It is with great pride that I present this group of candidates receiving their degrees today. I invite all baccalaureate right to come to the platform to be recognized. Please be seated until your section is directed to the stage by the marshals. Nazareth Quiroz. Felissa Stella Medellin. Noel Jacqueline Gerard. Ong Thang Lang. Antonio Lorenzo Ortiz. Shannon Ray Morton. Lourdes Singleton. Nayeli Juliana Moreno Franco. Eva Maria Martinez. Abdullah Saleh Almari. Bradley Ray Pickens. Alice M. Rivera. Sawan G. Cantrell. Carlos Eduardo Garcia. James Coe. Chantal Ramirez. Jake Anthony Littlejohn. Jacqueline Bravo. Noah Morwani Carter. Azain Leonardo Bautista. Angel Cano. Shanti de Jesus Acevedo. Cheyenne Nicole Villegas. Patricia Castrejon. Michelle Renee Burns. Maritza Contreras Sanchez. Dina Lynn Alcayaga. Lene Bernal. Graham Lambert Leo Gillis. Erica Cruz Vizcara. Adrian Orlando Sosa. Jeffrey D. Schemeyer. Martha Diana Armendariz Barroeta. Adrienne Marchant. Lupita Marlene Palomares. Brittany Roxanne Randolph. Veronica Marie Soto. Natalie Marie Linares. Simone J. Moses. Tina Yvette Lamarque. Brittany Ann Green. Mian Fong Tran. Thea Antoinette Blackwell. Lena Tala Arakelian. Cecilia Cardenas. Juan Lomeli. Abigail Aguirre Rios. 
Adrián James Rodríguez. Edward Patrick Perez. Mohamed Maskin. Rosa Isela Oriana. Mohamed Yusef Alkuwari. Carlos Martin Balomares. Latoya Jasmine Dugan. Andres E. Saiz. Lisa Marie Gonzalez. John Henry Richard. Samuel Rashard Simmons III. Gonzalo Rodriguez Gonzalez. Guadalupe Huerta. Caballero. Arturo Herrera Caballero. Brandon Daniel Yubovich. Austin Scott Haynes. David Aguilar Garcia. Cole Austin Roberts. Jared Ian Perry. Derek Austin Shea. Drexel Adam Hoffman. J. Manuel Villegas. Jorge Francisco Avalos. Miguel A. Morales. Thomas Salazar. Karavik. Jonathan Brian Karavik. Tina Marie Gallegos. Christian Owen Killian. Devante E.J. Allen Payne. Benjamin R. Hoyle. Don Anne Marie Turkaz. Timothy Grant DeBee. Joshua Charles Hoffman. Robert Andrew Quillen. Moises Quevedo. Marissa Lynn Valdez. Felipe Arellano. Jorge Antonio Gontes. Edward Lloyd Santa Ana. Donna Lynn McClendon. Robert Anthony Lopez Jr. Edward Jonathan Cabico. Michael Christian Rodriguez. Gia Fan Jang. Sherry Lynn Gray. Alicia Latrice Bennett. Maria Lupita Castro. Mark Roland Willett. Veronica Nicole Reyes Cruz. Tiana M. Adrian Cuevas. Pablo Efren Vega. Sebastian A. Williams Martinez. Marco Antonio Ocampo. Michael C. Hernandez. Chloe Lynn Naismith. Ian Misael Mendoza. Romito Gara Disskaya. Amber Kushwaha. Irene Julie Patino. Anna Sofia Martinez. Cassidy Ann Buffum. Noah Michael Gonzalez. Erendira Chavez. Andrea Monique Luna. Vandana Sofia Cariamada. James Newman. Aaron Patricia Meza. Naya Amani Brown. Jenny Rebecca Pittman. Jose Morales Jr. Jonathan Julian Sandoval. Antonio Becerra. Ignacio Daniel Barrigan. Kenneth James Trungwidi. Juan Daniel Brooks. Antoinette Denise Lorenzo. Charlotte Jamont. Isabel Andrea Licon. Eric L. Wilson. Anthony Tijerina. Jason Andrew Velasco. Gerardo David Terrazas. 
Crystal Brianna Colosso Ortiz. Lazaro Eric Hernandez Moreno. Tyler Ray Lopez. Amber Sanchez. Donnell Leffridge the fourth. Tyler Imani Thompson. Mason Robert Ferrari. Jalen Shawnee Curley. Tyler Jameson Bent. Steve Kalana Artis. Jocelyn Corbatia. Kelly Lynn Karsten Guzman. Kathy Ann Williams. David J. Torres. Michael Jerome Moore. Brian Joseph Mariscal Lopez. Denise M. Van Stratton. Cesar Carranza. Lea Magali Gavarito Rosado. Leticia Contreras. Veronica Amy Jimenez. Shante Lachelle Taylor. Andrea Sara Grajeda. Alonso Ulises Duran. Linda Louise Coleman. Rudolph Ivan Armienta. Paulette Renee Henson. Kevin Fernandez. Yvette Marie Jackson. Angelica Inet Wafer. Norma A. Molina. Amberlynn Jean Bird. Jessica Rose Aragin Barrera. Michael Wayne Llewellyn. Sandra Marlene Aredia. Yeching Shu. William Henry McGuire. Carlo Emil Albar Navarro. Christine Navarez. Gabriel Austin Tan. Lisa Rojo. Stephen Anthony Frajo. Isabel Jaylene Peñeda. Sean Latrice Camfer. Amanda Michelle Fernandez. Destin Scott Hylack. Tanya Duarte Velasco. Carlos Ernesto Magallón Vargas. Martin Rafael Asong Chang. Loreni Valdez. Jairo Mauricio Caledonio. Lani Analia Manasarian. Javon M.C. Fowler. Mercedes Aurora Duncan. Rose Araceli Augustine. Christopher Emmanuel Johnson. Alejandra Avila. Preston Alexander Gurola. Crystal Marie Estrada. Alan Gascon. Kin Chichicha. Tyler Keith Ryan. Megan Jolie Chi. Miriam Alicia Avina. Celeste Abigail Wilkin. Claudia Ortiz. Andrea Prado. Kimberly Escamilla. William Arden Lysette Jr. David Nicholas Lisk. Jessica Elizabeth Frere. Nicholas Alexander Vega. Alejandra Gallegos. Casey Alexandra Venti. Maravis Alonso. Leslie Karina Alvarado. David Rogelio Alba. Mark Aaron Livingston. Chelsea Brianne Broussard. Amy Elizabeth Fernandez. Heidi Xiomara Melendez. Cesar Martinez. Vivian Leanne Rivera. Andy Nicole Lewis. Hugo Vega. Ariana Christina Carter. Abdullah Bader Aldosari. 
Felipe Vidal Santiago Hemming. Tony J. Marchevka. Destiny Angelique Ruiz. Fernando Garcia. Christopher Adam Oliveros. Richard Fred Gill. Melissa Ann Ron. Alyssa Lynn Morales. Jesus Rudy Sanchez. Shakana Lacan Turner Miles. Alejandro Jose Diaz. Marissa Deanda. Carlos Eduardo Aguayo. Diane Marie Bassanio Aguayo. Sabrina Luis Jute. Janessa Noel Castillon Calangian. Ariana D. Arredondo. Pinedo? Marie Ann Pinedo. Michelle Teresa Romero. Yesenia Evelyn Lopez. Amy C. Sanchez. Oscar Flores. Rose Marie Dimely. Brian Rodriguez. Justin Ryan Andrews. Martha Teresa Cervantes. Shailene Taylor Roberts. James Ingram Jr. And last but not least, Nicholas Lopez with Noah. Yes, I'm repeating what that man just said. Wow, that was a lot of graduates. But you deserved every single accolade and applause. So let's start applauding ourselves. It's time to celebrate. So let me be among the first again to say congratulations. And uh, when you leave here and you think of a charge that's given to you to take away, to always remember, let me say two things for your charge. First, you heard the stories of our students here tonight. Those are remarkable stories. But each one of you, 
Each one of you has a story that's just as remarkable as the stories you heard here from the podium this evening. I encourage you, I charge you, tell your story. Tell it from the beginning through to where you are today because your story is important. Other people need to hear your story. And as you tell your story, I ask you, I implore you to be proud. Be proud of everything you've gone through. Be proud of your heritage. Be proud of your community because it's that pride that others will see. You are an asset to your community. Never apologize. Never think you're a deficit. Each one of you, you are the asset that's going to change the world. And as you do that, look back and take those behind you forward because others have helped you. Tell your story, pay it forward. And now graduates, please rise. There's a beautiful tradition at every institution across the country, but it's very transactional. It's called moving your tassel. And it's very simple. Don't, don't touch those tassels at this moment. At the other institutions, when you move your tassel from the right to the left, it's a simple move. What does it mean? At the University of Laverne, when you move your tassel from the right to the left, you move your tassel from your head to your heart. Not cheesy, may sound cheesy. It's not because you have the intellectual skills from everything you've learned. The University of Laverne will be in your heart forever. Move your tassel from your head to your heart, from your right to your left. <laughs> Graduates, please stay standing. Friends, family, relatives, neighbors of the graduates, please rise. Okay, graduates, let them know how much you appreciate them. Let them know how you feel. And now, graduates, family, friends, relatives, neighbors, please face forward. And I would like you to look at the stage and everybody on each side of the stage. And I would like to ask them to please rise. Graduates, family, friends, if it were not for the trustees, the administrators, the staff, and the faculty, none of this would happen. Each of these people on the stage and besides the stage, they helped you every step of the way they nurtured you, they supported you, and when you fell down, they picked you up and said, keep going, this is your destination. So please join me in thanking the glue of this university, the faculty and staff. And now, in preparation for closing of our ceremony, I'd like to call it Vice Provost Cloxon. This has been a beautiful afternoon. We're well into evening. That's great because we had so many beautiful graduates. Remember, October 14th is our homecoming. And what does it mean? Coming home. I hope to see you all in October at the Coming Home Homecoming. And I'd like uh, Brian Cloxon to close out the evening. Thank you, President Lieberman. At commencement, the university has a tradition of honoring university members 
that make a difference at the University of Laverne with their distinctive service and contributions to our community. Their heartfelt service and spirit is why these individuals are chosen to ring the spirit bell at the end of the alma mater. The College of Business and Public Management would like to continue its tradition of bestowing this honor on individuals who have made significant contributions to the university community. It is my pleasure to impart the honor of ringing the spirit bell to our new dean of the College of Business and Public Management, Emmeline DePillis. Her student-centered approach is empowering all of our students. The alma mater will be performed by Taylor Murphy. And this concludes our ceremony. We invite you to join in the singing of the alma mater. Words and music are located at the back of your program. At the end of the alma mater and spirit bell, please seat for the recessional. Graduates, on behalf of the Alumni Advisory Board and the Alumni Relations, please find a gift bag under your chair as a reminder that you are now Leos for life. Please take this gift with you on your way out. There's a dear favored spot that shall never be forgot for its memory. shield of the right there is courage and might alma mater